Yeah, so we currently use uh, Net Support DNA around the building. Uh, they're currently primarily on our Windows 10 machines. Uh, we are looking at rolling it out to laptops. Um, when the children bring them back in, the government supplied laptops, when we re-image them to then redeploy around the building. Yeah, so as we all know, uh, safeguarding is, is key to keeping all children safe. Um, and we did use a, uh, a, a alternative product um, that we currently have installed around the building that we use for classroom management. However, what we found with that said product is we were only able to uh, use keyword detection for any keywords that we entered. Not, it's not automatically updated for us. Um, and we found that after testing and after discussions that it would be a lot it would make a lot more sense if the company or if we could find a solution that automatically updated to help us keep the children safe here because um, as anybody who's ever worked with children will know the terminology that they use and the words that they use to describe things changes on a daily basis. Yeah, so one thing that we're looking at, we've not uh, made it widely known yet, but one of the things we're going to be um, pushing in September is uh, as part of the, the DNA, uh, there is a way that you can raise a concern. So that will go to your head of year or to whoever we decide is the designated lead on it. Uh, so then if you do have, uh, if the child does have a worry in their classrooms, they'll be able to let us know and we'll be able to respond and act on it. Uh, it was just can sometimes be quite clunky um, and also the fact that the version that we had didn't do the auto updating of the word lists um, and that was a major major drawback for us is because we can't I can't even imagine the amount of time and effort it takes to build up a word list like that um, and one that does it on its own by various updates is just a no-brainer for us. So as far as, um, apart from setting it up as far as our networking team, we don't have a lot to do with it. Uh, I'm literally just there as a, um, a second line in case anybody has any concerns they want me to chase and they don't have time to, to run after the children or know where the children are in the building due to our name machines. Uh, straightforward, I would say straightforward, simple. Um, <laughs> It's easy to use, it's quite intuitive, uh, it's just everything that you want as, uh, uh, from a kind of a piece of software. You don't want to have to spend half your time learning where all the different little nuances and parts of it are, uh, are saved. Um, you literally want it to be simple and straightforward that you can give somebody minimal training on and they'll be able to work on it and use it. Uh, they quite like it. It was a they do find it quite an eye-opener to see what the children are searching for. Um, the, the added bit of the context that's given with the, um, the stuff that gets flagged is something that you can't really do without for the type of software that it is because um, you can differentiate between somebody actually wanting to try to do something and somebody searching for um, legitimate learning materials on that said thing. For instance, we had a full class of children looking for uh, suicide prevention. Now, if there wasn't any of that context there, you could be thinking that we've got um, 32 children wanting to uh, to do self-harm themselves, whereas actually it was just a part of a lesson that we're working on it. And we got yes. that purely from uh, the context given uh, via the emails and via the stuff that was logged. And also it tends to, in the emails that the staff get sent, it does send a, a brief description of what the program is that is um, the stuff's been typed on. And then it gives you normally a sentence or um, a short paragraph on what's actually been typed. Um, and that's really useful. Yeah, I find them great. There's been, I've sent off a couple of uh, tickets through to the YSL or to NetSupport and they've um, got back in touch with me promptly and they've been really professional, really nice and 
Um, we've been able to get everything that I've, any issues that I've had dealt with or at least a workaround to make it so that um, the issue doesn't occur anymore. Oh, definitely, yes. I would recommend it to others 100%.